No one pays much attention to that plastic block that our laptop power cords are connected to, but that plastic block is your AC adapter and it does break down which can cause issues. Common symptoms of a problematic AC adapter are that the AC adapter LED is not illuminated, the AC adapter is not able to charge the battery, the AC adapter is not able to power on the laptop PC, or you get an error message that the AC adapter type cannot be determined. Go through these troubleshooting steps in order. Unplug the AC adapter from the wall outlet and from the PC. Inspect the adapter, the cables, and the adapter port on your laptop for any damage. Look for physical signs of overheating, frayed or exposed wires at the cable ends, even for cuts in the insulation. Check if the pin inside the plug or adapter port has damage or is bent or broken. These are all signs pointing to repair or replacement, so you should contact Dell Tech Support for replacement options as necessary. Next, inspect the wall outlet and make sure it's working correctly. Unplug the AC adapter from the wall outlet and plug in another device to test it. You can also try using a wall outlet that you know is working well. If you are using a surge protector or any type of outlet adapter, plug the AC adapter directly into the wall outlet as a test. Drain any residual power by unplugging the AC adapter from the wall outlet and disconnecting any peripheral devices connected to the PC. Then, depending on the model, remove the battery if possible. You can refer to the user manual for instructions if necessary. Press and hold the power button for 30 seconds to drain any residual power from the PC. Then reconnect the battery, plug the AC adapter back into the PC, and turn on your PC. If the PC does not power on with the use of the AC adapter, then try testing the USB port. Your PC may have different types of USB ports. For charging, be sure to connect to the USB-C power port. Next, unplug the AC adapter from the wall outlet and unplug the AC adapter from the PC. Disconnect the power cable from the AC adapter. Connect the power cable firmly to the AC adapter. Verify if the LED on the AC adapter is on. If it isn't, try using another compatible AC adapter in good working condition. After the power cable and AC adapter cable have been disconnected and reconnected, verify the AC adapter wattage. This information is printed on a label which is located on the bottom of the AC adapter. Check it against the specifications in the owner's manual by going to dell.com support, enter your service tag, and click on manuals. Using an AC adapter that has a lower wattage may produce an error message, such as the AC adapter type cannot be determined, or the optimal system performance is being prevented, or an unknown, incorrect AC adapter is being detected. These will reduce the processor speed in order to save power, and as a result, the laptop battery might not charge, or it will charge slowly, or the AC adapter might heat up. Therefore, it is essential to use the proper AC adapter that is designed to go with the Dell laptop PC. Next, check if the PC is recognizing the AC adapter correctly. Restart the PC, and when the Dell logo appears, tap the F2 key until the message Entering Setup appears. Verify the AC adapter type in the BIOS options. If the AC adapter type is none, ensure the AC adapter is connected firmly to the PC. If the AC adapter type is unknown, or it is recognized correctly by its name, but it is still not working, then run the Dell EPSA hardware diagnostic test. To run this test, turn on the PC and tap the F12 key. Choose Diagnostics from the menu. When the Diagnostics reports an issue, take note of the error code. To define what the code means, refer to the reference table of EPSA PSA error codes and troubleshooting section using the support article link in the description. This will help you with any related troubleshooting steps. If no issue is reported by the diagnostic test, then no hardware issues were found and it is most likely that there is an issue with your operating system. One way to address this is to reset your PC.